what I can say is the movie's black and white and it's a period yeah. film. And, and so, and we were interested in, in looking at the movie um, from that point of view, you know, we, the, the movie is about, is a is about a time in Hollywood that that a lot of us um, think of very fondly as as a really important period in in filmmaking. So we uh, we looked at movies from that era and and we made choices based on what we saw in those films. You know, yeah. Um, obviously, applying our own modern take in some situations, but uh, yeah, I mean, it was an amazing experience. Is is you know, a huge huge experience uh, for me. <laughs> That's your first black and white project, yeah? Yeah, I mean, since I, I shot a couple music videos in the late, you know, in the early 2000s on, uh, I, you know, and I think the last time I was joking with Dave, the last time I shot black and white was on reversal triax on a Bolex, I think, you know. Uh, so, yeah, it's been, it's been a while. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's amazing. I mean, I sort of, I, I was actually talking to Faden the other day. He was, he was joking around with me about it. And I said, I never want to shoot color again. <laughs> it's like it's kind of you know it's like uh it's it's one of those uh, a, a tremendous privilege for me to, to have the opportunity to do it does it make it easier for you in terms of ratios or is it more challenging well black and white you know you in color photography you have the great advantage of using color for tonal separation uh so you can your your compositions in in some regards are are can be more complex um, and you actually can use focus in different ways because if you have layers of color, um, they can trick the eye uh, with depth of field and focus. Uh, you don't really have that uh, benefit in black and white. You know, you, that, I mean, obviously, it's, color is removed from it. So you you are um, you're kind of left just with with straight tonal uh, separation of, of of gray, obviously, and focus. In, in terms of assisting composition and and that I, I mean that's really fun because you you can one you can be much more gestured you know which dps i think love to do you know we're always attracted to that um sometimes dangerously uh, but um <laughs> <laughs> you know the the opportunity to to really sculpt something or, or give someone a really specific you know line and, and and let something play really dark in the foreground and be um those kinds of strong structured compositions are, you know, are things that don't really work in color and are really fun to, to play in black and white, but you have to be really careful. You know, I mean, that was, uh, for me, the biggest challenge on the movie was, uh, you know, the desire is to go, is to go really, uh, really noir. You know, I mean, everyone looks at black and white and they're like, you know, especially cinematographers, I think, you know, we look at it, we're like, Oh, great. I get to uh, throw some hard light through some Venetian blinds and, you know, it, and and you have to be really careful because within the canon of black and white, um, you know, there's there's huge, huge swings of style and technique. And you know, even in the 1930s, uh, black and white, you had very aggressive uh, styles. You know, super contrast. You know, noir lit, and then you had glamour and, and German expressionism. And you know, it's like there's a huge range of, of style and you have to make sure that the choices you're making are, are going to be cohesive in the whole process of the film you know once it's editorially once it's constructed to kind of have to you know learning to check yourself and check your choices against what the next scene is and what it's you know it's it's much it's a much different process so things need to be a lot more coordinated while shooting a black and white film then well yeah i mean i think it's always it always needs to be coordinated but but because you, I think it's, at least in my experience, you know, I was so, uh, um, I was so seduced by the opportunity to really go for it.